That looks fine with almost home. This is beginner leg day. So if you're just starting off, you want to do lower body and this is where you're going to start off and you can do it anywhere. You can do it in your house, you can do it in a hotel room, you don't need any equipment. Just use your body weight. If you need to take breaks, take as many breaks as you want. If you want to go my pace, go my pace as well. So we are going to stay consistent. You're going to do, if you're a beginner, you're going to start off with me and you're going to continually go every single day until it becomes easier. Whether it's doing yoga one day or it's doing meditation, we are going to constantly try to better ourselves. Even if it's only five to 15 minutes a day, just take those little steps to try to get better and better. So, speech is over. We're gonna get started with the beginner leg workout. All right, so I like to start off. Um, basically, if I don't know you, I don't know where you're at. We're gonna go feet a little bit wider than your shoulders. Your toes are gonna be pointed out. A lot of people have tight hips, so when you head your toes in, a lot of people like to dig their knees in front of their toes and it's going to be incorrect. So, feet wide, toes pointed out a little bit, just like that. All right, so when we sit down in a squat, we're going to basically get cut in half. So what I mean by that is your butt's going to come back and you're going to sit down in a squat, a little above 90 you should get comfortable here. You, this is what not to do in a squat, basically. You don't want to roll your back and be over here or here. You want to have your chest up, get your butt back, and sink down into it. All right, that's it. Oh, another not to, right? So, we gotta look at the knees. Roll the pants up for the knees. So, don't have your knees come in like that. It usually happens when you're doing too much weight. We're gonna press our knees out the whole time. Come up and down. Now that we got that all squared away, we are gonna do 15 squats. So if you need to cut it down to five or 10, go ahead. We're just getting started. But we're just gonna go slow and control getting used to it. You should be able to control your body weight. That's one of the biggest things to start off with. You don't need heavy weights. Be able to move yourself a little first. Just lay down the hand and see how that is. There we go, so chest up. Sit down. It's really going to focus on your butt and hamstring. So after, you're gonna go into a lunge. Can you see the direction? Right now I have my left leg in front. My right leg, stand right here, and we're just gonna slide it back. That's how you know you're in the right position. Don't start off left, I mean right foot behind the left, it's not gonna work out. So, stand and just feet together, slide that foot back. We're going to be in almost a stretch. And from here, see how my knees bend a little bit in the front? We are just going to drop straight down. So chest up, right here. So my knee is in a straight line. You never want to have your knee forward like this. Weight's on my heel. We're just going to end like this. So right now, we are going to do eight lunges left, eight right. Over a leg. Straight down. Go slow and control. Barely touch your knee on the ground. Alright, let's switch it over. Same thing. Start here, slide it back.
last thing in this little circuit is going to be lateral lunges. Feet wide. Make them real wide. Chest is up. Lateral just means side. Horizontal, lateral. Pretty much, right? So, now my feet wide. Now I'm going to sink down, chest up to the right side. So I'm putting all my weight on this right leg, and then I'm pressing off hard. Meet back in the middle. All right, so I got six right and six left. Sink down into it. Have your chest up. You should be able to look me in the eyes. the last thing squat jumps we only got five of them five to ten wherever you want to be and if you're like oh that's too easy then do another round I'm doing a two three or four rounds all right so squat jumps line up in the same thing as a squat and sit down come up you're not dunking all I care about is your hips coming through and your feet getting off the ground this much land back down in the squat. So what I mean by that is you're not going to go like this. You're going to land back down in. All right, so you got five to 10 reps. That is my beginner leg day. If you need to, repeat two or three times. I'll see you guys in a